Welcome to part two of my Cornwall road trip with my friends. If you missed part one, then I suggest go and watch that first before you continue watching this video. We did a few exciting things. We went to New Key Beach. We also went on some kind of weird cable car thing up the side of a mountain. And we had a few interesting nights of camping as well. In part two, we end up going to Land's End and we explore Stonehenge, as well as trekking to Clarkson's Farm on the way home once again. This is part two. I hope you do enjoy. Make sure you watch right to the end because there's a few nice group photos as well. It is the 6th of July, it's our first morning that it isn't raining, Kyle and Brad are putting their tent down, how's it going this morning lads? Alright, yeah, sounds. It's going alright, Mr Lewis is packing his tent up, uh, Daniel, I don't know where Daniel is, I think he's gone to the toilet, and, oh Daniel's in his tent, and I am currently cooking breakfast. Having his burger. Are you gonna put it in your face, Daniel? Yes. How is it? Good. Very good. Burger. Chef Bradley is preparing some lovely. What are you having here, Brad? Bacon. Uh, streaky bacon. Preparing for his meal. Me and Lewis have already had breakfast. We're waiting to use what's uh, Brad's finished with the fryer. We're going to cook ourselves up something yummy. How's your burger, Dan? Yes, good. Good man. So I think the plan today is we've got about a six and a half hour drive, but we've decided to cut it down to about three and a half hours. Uh, by cutting a little bit of it out, I think. Um, but this morning, we're actually camping near Land's End. It's literally a mile down the road, which is the most southern point of the UK. So we're going to go there first thing this morning and have a little look around. Today, we're at the most southern tip, Land's End. How are you feeling about that, Brad? All right, pretty happy. Get it's happy to be here. Uh, it's bigger than John O'Groats, Daniel. Oh, what is it? Visitor Centre. Kyle's doing a bit of filming as well. Should we go to Kyle's point of view right now? No, you're not getting this point of view. I'm not sending you. There's Land's End Donut Company, but it's closed right now. And there's a Wallace and Gromit experience. The lost treasure of Leoness, don't know who that is. I'm enjoying Kyle's point of view. I'm just gonna cut backwards and forwards between our views. Kyle's crashed his helicopter up here, look. Nice parking job, Kyle. Right, it's very, very windy, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear this on the microphone. So I'm gonna keep the camera quite close to my face. But this is where England ends. This is um, Land's End behind me. There's like a little lighthouse out there. It's absolutely lovely, but it's really, really windy. The guys are hiding because I'm actually having to shout so you can hear what I'm saying. So right now we are in the Land's End gift shop and um, there's loads of like really nice things in here. I've just got some of this um, 
cider. Like, have a little look at this cider. It's like, it's a Cornish scrumpy cider. Daniel's getting himself some now, I think. Um, I've already got mine in here. Mr. Lewis is getting himself some stuff. After spending a reasonable amount of time at Land's End, enjoying the view and buying a few gift items, we carried on to our final campsite near Axminster. We have arrived at the final campsite um, where near Axminster. Um, so uh, for those of you who don't know where it is, it's like, what was it? Like 50, 150 miles from London. So we're not that far away from London, actually. Um, we've set all the tents up in a little nice circle. Um, so we're all just chilling now for a few hours and then we're gonna go to there's a, a pub literally just down the road like five minutes We're gonna go there and have tea. We're gonna barbecue, but it's the last night. We're all knackered and we can't be arsed oh, there's, there's pieces over here What's happened? Daniel's holding oh dear What happened Lewis? I'm getting it everywhere <laughs> <laughs> Like, into one. Troy, be careful, you're gonna smash something else. <laughs> <laughs> Stop getting it on video. Now, I realised as I was editing this, I didn't have a clip to explain the next part of the film. We'd been to the pub for a nice meal, and on the walk back to the campsite, which was about a five minute walk, it wasn't too far, there was a field full of cows in it. Now, Brad has some weird kind of obsession with cows. He has a tattoo of a cow on his leg. He always has to go and stroke the cows whenever we see them in the field. Because we were walking past a field full of cows, Mikhail and Brad dipped and went and had a little look at those. Lewis and Dan went back to the campsite. But some strange things happened with Brad and these cows, which I managed to actually get on video. Everyone puts his head on your hand, will become the. Look, he's trying to eat my finger. It's not trying to eat you, it's just licking you, it's being friendly. What the hell is that <laughs> cow doing? <laughs> <laughs> the farmer's just gonna come down and see. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You made my cow spastic. <laughs> How to train your cow. <laughs> How to train your cow. <laughs> What is this trick to how to train your cow, Brad? Grass. <laughs> Get some grass. Some grass. Oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> He's fat. Here you go. Fat? He's just well built. Here you go. I can't pat you all. <laughs> I can't pat you all. <laughs> Put the stick yes. down and you got two yes. hands. Yes. 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 You've got quite, you've got quite a queue for stick. people wanting uh, wearing head pads. All the cows have come here. Right, Brad, you've got to go along. Each cow gets like a two second pat. This one's from eight. 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 That's what I thought. Come on, each one gets a two second pat. Go, go along the row. That's right, this one. He loves head pads. Yeah, I know. Hello. <laughs> How long is he pissing for? <laughs> Look at them all. This... <laughs> They're all moaning from me. <laughs> the whole flock is coming here. The farmer's going to wonder what the hell's going on. Yes. yes this... How is one man with a stick going to accumulate a whole field? Brad. Are you, you should just code the next farming simulator. No, you should just be the next farmer. Are you going to name any of them, Brad? Don't name them, we're going to slaughter. We'll get I'm going to ask the farmer if I can name one of his cows. <laughs> yeah, and then in Tesco next week, you'll be able to find the This Is Betty or whatever <laughs> your name is. This is Pedro. <laughs> this is Pedro. Pe Pe Pedro got heard. heard what, Pedro him. Pascal, the, the cow? Right, Sorry. come on, Brad, let's go. Come on, you come back to the campsite. Come on. Come on, you want to roll. You want to roll. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a kiss then. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I'll 
see you later, Pedro. We can come and see him in the morning before we go. I'll be dead in the morning. <laughs> They're all following him, look. There he goes with his stick. So it is the 7th of July. Um, this was our last night camping in, well, we're not actually in Cornwall anymore, are we? We're, we're in uh, Dorset now. So we've been to Cornwall, Devon, and now we're in Dorset, actually. Um, the plan for today is we're gonna go to Stonehenge, is about an hour and a half away. Then from there, we're gonna go up to Clarkson's farm shop, the Diddley Squat farm shop, and have a little look there. And then we're just gonna trek all the way back up north to where we live. Hey! Throwing your chair at my tent. What do you think you're doing? Come on, the viewers are awaiting your your eruption from your tent. You've got to erupt out of there with lots of energy. There we go. Hello. Daniel is awake. Oh, he's going back in. Here he is. Oh, that was a bit aggressive. I'm going to piss, fuck off. You need to piss. <laughs> Not a good night. Yeah? Not a good night. Yeah, my back hurts. I'm miserable. Oh, he's a grumpy old man already. Yep, eight. How did you sleep, Brad? Fine. Are you going to go herd some more cows? No, I got naked during the night. You're lucky I put my pants on. <laughs> Do you not sleep naked anyway? Yeah, but I'm outside, so I thought I'd put some clothes on. Oh. After Brad put a shirt on, Kyle had been for a pee and a shower, we all packed the cars up and headed about an hour and a half north towards Stonehenge. We are making the pilgrimage to Stonehenge. There's like so many people walking down this road. Yeah, well, we could have got one of these shuttle buses. Why don't you just drive? Well, we could nice. do. Just smash through the barrier. I'm just asking politely. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's like uh, how many mile walk was it? One and a half. Oh, that's all right. It's a one and a half mile walk down this road to the big stones. It was quite a long walk to the stones and we only discovered as we got nearer that you had to pay a £30 fee to actually get anywhere near the stones. On top of that, it was all about to go horribly wrong for Bradley. There we go, Stonehenge behind us. We've made the long walk. Uh, unfortunately, we well, you can get over there, but you have to pay £29, which none of us want to do because that's just ridiculous. So this is as close as we can get. But there is Stonehenge. I don't know any of any of the history about it. We're passing it on the way home, so we thought let's just go and have a little look at it. So Brad, update us on what's happened. Fuck off, lad. It's not even funny. He's lost his car keys. We were walking across this field earlier. Lewis and Dan are walking that way. Well, we're, we're walking down the road this time. He's gonna go into the toilets and see if we can find them. They're even the toilets, so hopefully someone's handed them in. At the visitor centre side of the wall. Found at 11 o'clock, huh? The side of the Oh, he so found his key. You, you dropped it while on the wall. Go on, show us, Brad. What? Show us your keys. He's found them. Kyle, he's found his keys. I did. Did you find them? I walked, I walked into the membership bit and asked her if he found some keys. And they found them? Yeah. That's car keys. Brad's car keys had an adventure of their own say? today. How was Stonehenge, Daniel? Good. Very underwhelming. No, I was. I thought he's better. Better than I, I expected. Better. Yeah. It would have been if I paid for it. Yeah. From Stonehenge, we headed back up north, stopping off at Clarkson's Farm again on the way home. We had a few other stops for pee breaks as well. 
and then back home. Hello! Welcome home, welcome back. How was Cornwall? Uh, Cornwall was good. We didn't crash, which was good. Uh, I think the lads enjoyed it. Four nights of camping, five days of driving. I've just had an eight and a half hour drive from uh, Devon, which was uh, insane. Um, so I need to sleep now, and I've got a lot of editing to do over the next week as well. Thanks very much for watching our Cornwall trip. Hope you did enjoy it. We saw loads of cool things, including Stonehenge. We went down to Land's End. It was a fantastic trip, and I hope you can join us for the next one.